Hi, this is Sean Hilbrin. Welcome to Together We Transform Thursday, January edition, 2020. I can't believe it's 2020, and I can't believe we're standing inside our new indoor training center. This is a dream come true. It was the centerpiece of our five-year plan from a facility standpoint, and it is actually here. Last week, our lacrosse teams got in here and were the first teams to practice. Women's lacrosse actually sent me a FaceTime. I was in Anaheim for the NCAA convention, which I'll get to in one second, but to see them in here and then men's lacrosse later in the day and then football and then baseball and softball, it really is for our student athletes and it shows what Stony Brook Athletics can be and will be. Now, while the building open to our teams, we still have some construction to do, including on our support building, which will house our training room, restrooms, and a lobby facility. Can't wait for all of you to come see this beautiful new building. It's a game changer for Stony Brook Athletics. As I said, I was in Anaheim last week for the NCAA convention, and as a member of the Division I Council and the Name, Image, and Likeness Working Group, there was a lot going on. And so for those of you that have been following this issue of Name, Image, and Likeness, let me tell you, there is a lot of work to be done, but it is great for me to have an opportunity to have a front row seat to the proceedings. There's a lot being written about it, but all of, the, of our work is centered around doing right by student athletes and allowing them to capitalize financially on their name, image, and likeness. The timeline is fast, there's a lot of work to be done, but I look forward to doing that, representing not only Stony Brook and the America East, but all student athletes at the Division I level. So while it was great being in sunny Southern California, I couldn't wait to get back to Long Island. Monday was the first day of classes for the spring semester here at Stony Brook, and the energy that exists with our student athletes being back I can't even tell you how great it is. So we're excited to have everybody back and we're excited to see what the next few weeks and months hold. The Saturday night is going to be a special one here at Stony Brook as we celebrate our second annual Stony Brook Children's Hospital Night as our men's basketball team takes on UMBC at 7 p.m. Our players will each wear a jersey with a patient's name on the back and after the game and one of the coolest things from last year, they will actually present those jerseys to the children individually. It's a special night. I hope you'll join us. So get your tickets at stonybrookathletics.com. Speaking of basketball, I have to give a huge shout out to our red hot women's basketball team. They're off to the best start in program history, have the longest winning streak in program history, receiving votes in the AP and coaches top 25 poll for the first time in program history, and hopefully will make history by winning their first American East championship and reaching the NCAA tournament. As always, I'm so grateful for your support. We wouldn't have this building without the donations of so many loyal Seawolves out there. So if we want to keep doing big things like this indoor training facility, we need to keep sticking together and making great things happen. So as always, thank you so much. Go Seawolves and keep believing.